Greetings. My name is Birgitta Graciela, student number 181. So today I'm going to present the analysis of a drama and the title of the analysis is Patriarchal Society in Susan Glaspell's Trifles. The analysis of trifles using semiotic structuralism approach. The introduction. Susan Glaspell, Pulitzer winning playwright, best-selling novelist, and co-founder of America's most influential theater companies was born in Devonport, Iowa in 1876. Resisting more conventional roles for women of her generation. In 1900, she covered the murder trial that inspired her best known play, Trifles. As she wrote about the life she knew as a middle class Midwestern woman, Glasspell broadened her view of the world with membership in discussion groups devoted to the era's newest ideas socialism, anarchism, Freudian psychology, and feminism. Playwright Susan Glaspell's one-act play, written in 1916, is loosely based on true events. As a young reporter, Glaspell covered a murder case in a small town in Iowa. Years later, she crafted a short play, Trifles, inspired by her experience and observations. The play was first performed in Provincetown, Massachusetts, and Glaspell herself played the character Mrs. Hale. Considered an early illustration of feminist drama, the themes of the play focus on men and women and their psychological states along with their social roles. The summary of the drama, the sheriff, his wife, the county attorney, and the neighbors enter the kitchen of the Wright household. Mr. Hale explains how he paid a visit to the house on the previous day. Once there, Mrs. Wright greeted him, with, greeted him but behaved strangely. She eventually started in a dull voice that her husband was upstairs dead. The audience learns of John Wright's murder through Mr. Hale's exposition. He is the first, aside from Mrs. Wright, to discover the body. Mrs. Wright claimed that she was sound asleep while someone strangled her, her husband. It seems obvious to the male characters that she killed her husband and she's been taken into custody as the prime suspect. In the kitchen, the attorney and sheriff decide that there is nothing important in the room. The man criticized Mrs. Wright's housekeeping skills, hurting Mrs. Hale and the sheriff's wife, Mrs. Peters. The man exit heading upstairs to investigate the crime scene. The woman remained in the kitchen. Chatting to pass the time, Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peters noticed vital details that the man would not care about. So these are the vital details in trifles noticed by the women characters, Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peters. And the uh, vital details are Minnie Foster, ruined food preserves, the Red Pretty Box, the kill, the bird, and the last one is the bird cage. The analysis. An icon has a physical resemblance to the signified, the thing being represented. Minnie Foster is the example of icon that can be found in the play. Minnie Foster is the past life of Mrs. Wright. A symbol has no resemblance between the signifier and the signified. The connection between them must be culturally learned. 
burn fruit preserves, the red pretty box, the kilt, the bird, and the bird cage are the are the examples of symbol that can be found in the play. They symbolize the emotion of Mrs. Wright. Minnie Foster. Minnie Foster, or as known as Mrs. Wright in Trifles, is described as a woman who has been broken down by her relationship with her husband. She used to be an extroverted, glamorous woman, but now has been reduced to someone who wears shabby clothes and doesn't clean her house properly. Ruin fruit preserves. The jar will break if it is in the cold temperature. It is like Mrs. Wright's heart that breaks because of the coldness of Mr. Mr. Wright's behavior toward her. After all hard working that she has been doing, everything freezes because of her husband's behavior. The Red Pretty Box. The Red Pretty Box symbolizes Mrs. Wright's final tribute for her birth. She used the Red Pretty Box to show that she really loves the bird. The bird in the play is the only friend that she has. It also shows that the bird is valuable for her since she's not using a regular box. The kilt. The kilt is the symbol of the emotion of Mrs. Wright since the sewing is over the place. At the beginning, the kilt looks so nice and neat. At the end, Mrs. Wright looks like she doesn't know what she's doing to do, what is, what she's going to do, and make her and make the kilt over the place. It is like her emotion toward John Wright about their marriage. At the beginning of her marriage, everything looks nice. As the time goes by, Mrs. Wright cannot find who she is anymore, since John Wright is taking everything that she has. The bird. The bird found by Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peter is symbolizing Mrs. Wright herself. In her dialogue, Mrs. Hale uses the bird for describing Mrs. Wright, who also known as Minnie Foster. Mrs. Hale says that Minnie Foster can sing like the bird. Mrs. Wright in her past life was joining the choir in the town. She was also often wear pretty dresses. In the play, it states directly that Mrs. Wright is like the bird itself, pretty and like to sing. The birdcage. The birdcage in the play is symbolizing how Mr. Wright treats Mrs. Wright. She is like a bird trapped in a birdcage that cannot fly freely. Before Mrs. Wright married, to Mr. Wright, people know her as Minnie Foster. She joins the choir and, and sings with the other members of the choir. Since, the married, since she married to John Wright, she cannot go anywhere. She's only stay at home and does what a wife should do for their husband. Her life after she's married just like a bird in a birdcage that cannot go to places she wants. So these are the dialogues which show icon and symbol. And conclusion. Based on the result of the analysis using semiotic structuralism approach, the, the issue that being raised in the analysis is patriarchal society. This thing can be seen through the main characters who are looking for forensic evidence to solve the crime, while the women characters in trifles observe clues that reveal the bleakness of Mrs. Wright's emotional life. The men in the play present themselves as tough, serious-minded detectives when in truth, they're not nearly as observant as the women characters. Their pompous attitude causes the woman 
to feel defensive and form ranks. Not only do Mrs. Hill and Mrs. Peter Peter Spons, but they also choose to hide the evidence as an act of compassion for Mrs. Wright. Stealing the box with the dead bird is an act of loyalty to their gender. And these are the references that I used to uh, the analysis. I think that's all for me. Thank you very much.